Cancer, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to do your Saturn retrograde reading for June 2022. Saturn's going to be in retrograde for uh, between now and October. Make sure that um, before you watch this reading, if you haven't already, um, because you're not subscribed, maybe you didn't see the message I put in the community tab, but please, either before this video or after it, um, but just make sure you do it at some point in time in relation to this video. Go to the community tab and look at the posting I did for uh, June 4th in reference to Saturn being in retrograde. It will help you to understand this video um, and it will help you to um, understand the perspective that I'm coming from in reference to uh, this reading. Okay, um, so for some of you, if it doesn't make sense, it's because maybe you didn't read the Maybe if you read the uh, community tab, it might make a little bit more sense. Let's put it that way, okay? So this is going to be a general read. It doesn't matter where you have cancer in your chart, but it will be more potent for people who are like North Node in Cancer. If you have Saturn in Cancer, this would be very potent for you. Um, if you're a Sun sign Cancer, uh, Ascendant sign Cancer, a Moon, and even Venus, okay? It really doesn't even matter what placement of Cancer you have. Right now, we're looking at um, your cancer house and how it relates to how it's aspecting the Saturn energy as well as the Pluto energy. All right, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you need a personal, my information's in the box below. Well, we, we will go into the extended because I want to make sure that this video gets uploaded as soon as possible. And what I've noticed is that um, the longer the videos are, as far as the pre-recorded videos, the longer they are, the longer it takes for them to upload. And sometimes it takes more than an hour to upload a 20 minute video, a 30 minute video, and that's ridiculous. So I'm gonna keep it down to 15, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the extended and I'm gonna elaborate a lot more, okay? But this is just to give you an understanding of what we're dealing with <clears throat> and what we're gonna go into detail in, in the extended. So we're talking about Saturn. Saturn deals with karma. Saturn is for you, is in your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, your eighth house. So the eighth house deals with the psychological reasons why you do what you do. It also deals with um, what happens when you have power struggles within yourself and with others. And it also has to do with, um, you know, yeah, the energy that you create when you connect with others. All right. So that's the area of life that your karma, uh, as far as Saturn is concerned, is uh, affecting. Now, Pluto goes along with Saturn hand in hand because Pluto's about regeneration. Uh, yeah, re, re, um, <clears throat> not, yeah, it's about regeneration, but it's also about uh, reincarnating too. Now, with Saturn, we talk about three types of karma, and that's why I wanted you to read the uh, information that I put in the community tab. So this is your past karma, your present karma that you currently create in this life, and then the future karma that will be realized based on what you're creating right now. So, and if it's not realized in this lifetime when you pass over and you come back into the next life, you're going to have to deal with that karma. So you see karma as a cycle. It never ends. And it's definitely attached to Pluto because Pluto is all about <clears throat> rebirth. You know, when you die and you come into the next life, right? So this is why these two are, are, are attached um, and you won't find one without the other. You won't find karma without reincarnation. And you won't be able to reincarnate without dealing with karma of a past life. So they both go hand in hand. And it's interesting because in the chart, uh, they're right next to each other in retrograde. So there's two areas of your life that you're going to be dealing with where you have a rebirth in. And then the other area of your life is where there's karma. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. So the karma itself <clears throat> from a past life. We have the sweetheart energy. So some of you are definitely dealing with a karmic partnership. Someone from you dealt with in the past life that um, you may have ended things with them in that past life. And the feelings still move live on in you. And so as a result, you may not be able to fully connect with anybody emotionally on this in this waking life. And it could be because of the fact that you um, are still emotionally attached to that person from that past life. That's one scenario. Another scenario is, is that you had a lover from a past life that you had a karmic um, energy with, okay? Um, and as a result, you two have, um, you two didn't sever the ties in a past life. 
This person was a lesson to you in some way, shape, or form. You did not sever the ties with this person. And as a result, you and this person um, connect again in this life so that you can finish the karmic lesson. Okay? Now, the Pluto energy here represents the reincarnated part about it. So the reincarnated part about it is unwanted. So for some of you, it was a love situation here where you were doing everything you possibly could to be with this person. And this person was showing you that ways and actions that they really didn't want you. Or you were clinging to this karmic relationship because you may have had some feelings of uh, being unwanted. Maybe it was something that stemmed from childhood. And so as a result, you grew up um, attracting people who didn't want you, but you would hang on to them. Or... It could be vice versa where you're attracting people who want you, but you don't want them. All right. But you could be dealing with this and maybe you don't let this person go. You could be holding on to someone that you know that wants you, but you don't want them because maybe you're holding on to someone else and that person don't want you. So you're creating in this current life that type of cycle. That's for some of you, not all of you. Now, let's take a look at what's going on in the current life here. This is love. So it's definitely a karmic love situation, okay? <clears throat> because we have the sweetheart here and love. Now, we have awkward. So in this lifetime, your relationships could be very awkward because, again, you could be connected to someone from a past life, and in this lifetime, the relationship between you is very awkward because maybe this person doesn't want you, but you don't want to let go of them. Or maybe you don't want this person, but they don't want to let go of you. So it could be somebody that you connected with in this lifetime. You had a connection with them. You realized that connection. You may have children with this person. You may have married this person. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you just had a, a relationship with them or a situation with them, but you connected because we're dealing with eighth house energy. So y'all y'all had sex, okay? Um, and <clears throat> that's what we reconnected the bond from the past life. Now... This awkward energy could be maybe that you're in love with this person and maybe this person doesn't want you anymore with the unwanted energy. So now it could be awkward. Um, so maybe in this lifetime you wanted that person and now in this lifetime, you know, they don't want you or it could have been vice versa in the past lifetime. They wanted you and now in this lifetime you don't want them, but you're tied to this person. You've already been intimate with them in the last lifetime and in this lifetime. So this is the current energy. This is an awkward situation in reference to love. Okay, and we'll deal with that in the extended. We'll get clarity on why it's awkward and all of that. But this is just introducing to you what's going on. Now, if you correct this situation in this lifetime, the karma that you're creating for the future is the constancy energy in reverse. Okay, and then we have unappreciated. So what's going on is... If you continue to dabble in this connection in a negative way, meaning that you don't end it, what's going to happen is um, you're being inconsistent with this person and so this person is not going to appreciate you. Or your um, their person is being inconsistent and you're not being appreciated. So somebody's not being appreciated because somebody's being inconsistent. Someone's being inconsistent because they may not want this person. They may want somebody else. Or they want to hold on to this person because they know this person likes them or wants to be with them, but yet they really don't want this person because they're looking at somebody else. So it's really awkward, <laughs> okay? The, the situation is very awkward. But what it is is you need to understand that this is a past life karmic situation. And in this current life, you have the opportunity to settle this karmic situation. If you don't settle it properly, moving forward, your love life is going to be inconsistent because you're going to be in relationships where people don't appreciate you or you're going to be in relationships where you don't appreciate other people. And if you don't appreciate other people, it's because you're still emotionally attached to somebody who don't want you. All right. Or it's vice versa. <laughs> you know, where if you don't resolve this in this lifetime, what's going to happen is um, you're going to be inconsistent in your relationships and you're not going to appreciate the people who come into your life. Um, or you're going to run into people who just don't appreciate you. All right. So what I'm going to do in the extended is I'm going to get very specific. I'm going to go into this deeply. Um, I'm going to pull three cards for each of these. Two to three cards for each of these. And we'll go into it to find out, okay, in a past life, what was up with this person? But if you see here, the sweetheart energy. So you do, you two do connect in this lifetime. For sure. Because you see she's got a message there in her hand. 
And the, the title of the card is called Sweetheart. So there is communication between you and this person from a past life. In this life. Because you meet again. And here's the love energy. So you two do meet again. Like I said, you're dealing with the 8th house energies. Uh, so you do consummate. You do have sex. Okay. But there's an awkward, unwanted energy because somebody is not feeling appreciated. Okay. And it could be that there's a third party. I feel that strongly. Or there's somebody who's just very immature with their emotions and they're not consistent because they're not ready to settle down. And it could be because of a past life love that they're still dealing with that they haven't let go of. Or there's current situations that they're dealing with and they're not ready to let go of. But these are the energies that you're dealing with in reference to Saturn and knowing when, you know, the karmic cycle is over and when to end it and when to move on. But I get very strongly there's a third party situation for many of you. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the extended. Like I said, I'm going to get very specific and clarify all of these energies because, again, we're dealing with your Saturn energy, which is in Aquarius. Aquarius energy is all about forward movement and it's all about planning for the future. OK, and with Saturn, they're constricting that, um, you know, Saturn in retrograde is all about self-reflection of, OK, was I supposed to be a little bit more disciplined in this area and I wasn't or should I be more disciplined in this area? Right. And then when we're dealing with Pluto, Pluto is all about the lessons that are going to be presented to you. So wherever Pluto is natally in your chart, those are the lessons you're going to deal with throughout your lifetime in this lifetime. But where Pluto is right now is where the current lessons for you are going to be. Okay? So for you, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Pluto is in your seventh house, which is your house of partnerships, your house of relationships. And then we have um, your eighth house, which is where Saturn is. Okay? So the eighth house deals with the psychology behind you and this person's energy merging, because that's what the eighth house deals with you and the other person's energy and the power struggles between you two so this is very intricate this is going to be very interesting i can't wait to dig in to be able to help you to make sense of the situation so if you relate it to anything that i just said the link to the extended in the box below make sure you come check that out also make sure you check out the community tab and look for the uh posting for june 4th this will explain the premise behind this whole uh saturn retrograde energy and I also want you to check out the Saturn in Retrograde 2021 video in um, Cancer and the Saturn Retrograde 2020, I'm sorry, the Pluto Retrograde 2021 video in Cancer. Because these energies are retrograde in the same areas of life that they're in retrograde at for 2022. So for 2021, Saturn was in retrograde in Aquarius. What went on then? If it's still going on in 2022, that's a red flag to you that with Saturn, it's all about time to grow up, time to move on, time to leave something behind. Pluto is all about, okay, did you evolve? Did you, you know, go through a metamorphosis from the last time that Pluto was in retrograde in Capricorn and opposed to this year when it's in retrograde in Capricorn? Did you evolve? If you didn't, let's look at why and let's look at the karma you created. So that's why we're looking at Saturn as karma, Pluto as um reincarnation and why they go hand in hand so with that being said if this resonates with you or someone you know click that like button don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell that way you'll know when i post if you want to leave a comment on how this resonates on a general level feel free to do so all right i will see you guys in the extended and um sending peace and blessings your way